All right, hello everyone, and peace of the Lord to all of you, the Messiah, our Savior. May He be with us in this discussion today. Uh, today, our topic is very sensitive, and I challenge any Muslim to give us an answer. What really caused the Sheikh of Allah throne? You know, we here in America these days they are doing a fragging looking for. Uh, Oil and they are very successful. Do you think what is behind Allah throne to be shake is the fragging? Do you think Allah throne is something can be shaked? Something the Muslims cannot answer because their prophet he confirmed that the throne of Allah shaked already. And why the throne of Allah was shaked? When you read the story, which the Muslims cannot deny, that the throne of Allah was suffering from shaking problem. You will notice right away that Muhammad he made a huge mistake by saying such a statement if we go in the hadith we will find the following When a guy, his name, as we see in the screen, Sa'ad ibn Mu'adh, he died, the Prophet said that the death of Mu'adh shaked the throne of Allah. Now, the Muslims, they try to say to you, this is a metaphorical thing. But all Islamic scholars agree that this is not metaphorical. And we are going to show the proof, and we don't make things up. And as you see, this is Sahih Hadith. This is not, this is Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim. It's the same story. Here we notice that we are talking about supposedly someone, he is God Almighty. Yet the death of a human being can shake his throne. A death of a human being can shake Allah's throne. And that is impossible unless this is, I mean, this guy Muhammad is exaggerating and he is making things up. So the Muslims here, they have one of two choices. Either they agree that their prophet is a liar, he is lying. This can't be true. Or they have to agree that their God Allah his authority because the throne of Allah is the authority of Allah and when we can say that the, like, somebody can shake a throne of Allah that is making us think about many issues which is proving Allah to be false and Muhammad to be a false prophet why because when you say to me that the throne of Allah shaked because of the death of Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad that's mean Allah he didn't want him to die that's mean that the death of Mu'az was against Allah to the point Allah don't want him to die and Allah could not keep him alive so when Mu'az he die his throne Allah himself is moving his bum like oh, he's angry this is why the throne the throne isn't going to move by itself is a throne something uh, is, is it a creature who think the throne is a chair who is the one above the chair is Allah Okay, how the chair can move? What is moving the chair of Allah? 
is Allah. Okay, why Allah he moved the chair and shake it because Muaz he died? Is that because he's angry? If we go to the reference, and by the way, Muaz ibn Jabal, Muaz, sorry, Muaz ibn uh, Sa'd ibn Muaz, this guy he died uh, in an amazing way. This is the same guy who Muhammad he gave him a chance to be the judge for the Jews. And he is the one who ordered to rape all the women of the Jews and to slaughter all the men. And we notice here right away, we can show reference, let me, let me search for it, that after he, after Muhammad, he killed all the Jews, Mu'adh, his vein split and the blood was coming out like a fountain and he died immediately. Let us see if we can find the hadith. I'm just trying to find the reference in English. See, I don't really prepare for things in advance, you know. I mean, I do not need to. I mean, uh, it's in my head. But sometimes it's good to do it in advance so we don't waste time. All right. Uh, let us see what the story. Let us see. What I'm trying to find is the hadith where uh, this man, he ordered the killing of all the Jews of Bani Quraidah. And right away after they finished slaughtering the Jews, supposedly he was injured from before, but right away when the, they finished killing all the Jews and raping all the women, or they, let us say, they took them to rape them. His vein, his uh, his uh, his nerve, uh, uh, you know, uh, split, and his blood was coming all over. Let us see. Sometime it take it take a little bit of time to find it. Okay, here we go. I found the hadith here, but I don't want to find the hadith where. He died immediately too after he uh, after they finish killing the Jews.
this is the same hadith actually but I'm there is a specific one it's more clear anyway it looked like he this guy he punished immediately for his crime against the Jews because he is the one supposedly who told Muhammad it's best for us to slaughter them all and to uh, to take their women so anyway he is a criminal and uh, uh, he suffered from immediate death after they killed all the Jews. But why the throne of Allah is going to be shaked because of this man? What exactly this man? He who is he to Allah? Is he a prophet? No. Is he? Uh, I mean, is he the throne of Allah? Did did the throne of Allah shake for the for the death of uh, of Muhammad? Did the throne of Allah shake for the death of Musa's? They claim that Moses is a Muslim prophet. I don't know, like, why I cannot find it. Like here, it says that about the killing of Bani Quraida. It has searched some certain words. Maybe that will help. I don't like to mention something and I don't approve it, you know, the, you know the Muslims. Here we go, actually, this one. Read with me. Uh, in the day of the battle of Al Ahzab, etc., blah blah blah, he struck an arrow, so supposedly he got injured. And then uh, the, the angel Jibreel came to Muhammad and told him that Allah, He did uh, uh, order you to attack Bani Quraidah, uh, the Jews tribe. And then the, this man, Muaz, Muhammad, he told him, be, You are to be the judge to tell us what, you, what we will do with those people. So Muad, he ordered to kill all the men and to take all the, the, the women. So he sent him sad who judge their men should be killed and their women should be spread as a, as a share, you know, for slaves uh, among the Muslims. And it says here, and the Muhammad, he judged according to Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad judgment. And they were 400 when they finished killing them, his vein opened up and died. Do you see it? And this is a Sahih Hadith from Jami al Turmudi. So obviously, the death of this man was immediately after they finished killing all the Jews. And he is the one who ordered their killing. And obviously, Muhammad is using him. And later, Muhammad himself, he died by poison by the Jews themselves. The Muslim, they try to say to you, when we speak about that the throne of Allah is shaking, they try to lie and they say this is a metaphorical thing because Allah he loved Muaz. Why Allah he loved Muaz? What what's the point? I mean, all oh, there is many Muslims and he's just one of many companions. Allah loved Muaz more than Uthman, Omar, Ali. Why Allah's throne will be shaking? If you go to Islamic website here, somebody is asking the question. The shaking of the throne at the death of Sad. Ibn Mu'az was only because the joy of the Lord may he be exalted it was not reflection of any imperfection so this is the final answer the Muslim here is asking why the throne of Allah was shaked when Sa'ad Ibn Mu'ad he died the Muslim answer they give you all reference and then they say to you obviously that Allah this is not metaphorically this is literally happened and you can read the, the, the answer you know, so they are confirming that this is literally as, uh, uh, happened. This is not metaphorically, uh, and it does not mean that Allah is imperfect. Uh, but Allah is because He is re rejoicing of Muad die. I mean, why Allah He rejoice for the death of a man supposedly He like very much. 
<laughs> the Muslim they say because Allah want him to come over he cannot wait to meet him I mean how silly is that he is not a prophet he is no one he is just a guy who fought with Muhammad and he was a criminal so why the throne of Allah will shake and why Allah was so excited as you see they are saying they are not denying they are not saying this is was a metaphorical thing they are saying we agree that this is was a real movement in the sense of real movement of the chair of Allah we must or we must accept the hadith read with me carefully that speak the attribute of Allah as they are and also applies what is connected to, to those attribute of matter of the unseen okay So we believe that the most merciful rose over the throne and we believe that the throne shook in a real sense at the death of Saad ibn Mu'adh. And now we leave the question for the Muslims to give us how in the world that God throne shaked because Allah is so excited. It's like, like a puppy in the top of the throne and now he is excited. That cannot be God. Do you see it? When you say to me that there is a God and he is a throne shake because of somebody he died, that's mean a death of a human being can shake a throne of God. And who is this man? And why Allah is so excited for his death? He is not even an enemy. And why Allah throne shake only for the death of this man? Obviously, Muhammad is a liar, and he exaggerated in his lies to the point became it became very embarrassing. Otherwise, I challenge any Muslim to explain that. I'm not going to stay long. I want to keep this video easy, short, and uh, we will stop here. Uh, uh, don't don't forget to download the video. I'm going to go live on air again. We are not done But just to keep this video short. All right, so people can download it easy and They can share it around and we will be waiting for the Muslims to call us After we finish this episode, I will open my Skype again and we'll come back on live in 10 minutes and If the Muslims would like to call me and tell me why Allah throne shaked We will be happy to have the answer and we know we can talk about other topics now we promised somebody we will talk about the Shia so we will cover some of the of the Shia teaching in this coming live broadcast so please refresh your page just in 10 minutes from now I will be back and you are all invited to be with us let us see what we will call it we will call it oh Muslim No one can answer. Not even Allah. All right. So we will schedule it. Now the time is 4:49. Okay. Just a few minutes, guys. You know, just to refresh, refresh your page, and you will see that the live broadcast is already there. Join us and be with us, and invite your friends. And Muslims are welcome to call and to answer us if they can. And I never saw a Muslim have any answer for anything. Never, ever, ever. And they will never be able to answer all oh, what they do they play games they answer no answer which means their answer is just going around in a circle you ask them about potato they start talking about furniture you ask them about furniture they start talking about uh, you know agriculture anything just you know they change the topic in the speed of light they have no answer and right away they try to switch to speak about the Trinity as if this is the only problem in the world for them Trinity 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 because simply this is the only way for them to escape What Islam is about Let us talk about the Trinity all the Muslim want to debate you about the Trinity So join me in a few minutes and thank you very much for being here. Take care. Bye-bye